I'll hang on to this myself. Polly! Polly, you come back to- Here, wait a minute. Where's that whistle then? Look, it's just a little accident, sorry. An accident? My whistle? He just sort of fell off the world. Anyway, I got your parrot back. But my whistle! My handcrafted Oblander parrot calling whistle! My mother gave that to me! <laughs> oh, how can I concentrate now that I know the last keepsake of my old dead mother has gone from the world? Right! Right, I'll... I'll go fetch the whistle then, shall I? Oh, my Polly! My beautiful Polly and my lovely whistle! Oh, how can I repay you? Just tell me how to get a tattoo. Go to the barber shop, of course. Baby, sweetie doll. Hey. So good to see you. You're looking swell. Oh, well, thank you very much. Now sit down and shut up. Good feeling. Oh, this is terrible. Next! If I need a monkey, I'll let you know. Hello again. You're the troll, right? Flint. Hey? My name's Flint. My manager picked it for me. He thought it was more suave name for the clickies. If you want to audition these days, you gotta be suave. Ah, pieces of eight, pieces of eight. Look, I am your father. It's not got any better, has it? Not really, but just think of all the savings they could make on hiring extras. What sort of role are you looking for? A hero. That's why I've grown the moustache. You have to have a black moustache if you're going to be a hero. That moustache is made out of lichen, isn't it? Well, I was in a hurry. Anyway, I don't grow beard bits very well. Baby, sweetie doll. Hey? So good. Oh. Now. I'm going to be a star, you know. Sorry? I'm auditioning. It's for the star role in the new clicky Trolls Prefer Blondes. It's terribly modern. 
Why has your bust line gotten bigger? Silicone implants, I think they're called. Silicone? Yes, some cone-shaped bits chipped off that insane troll beside me. I stuffed them down my front. My agent thought it would be a good idea. You're keeping abreast of the competition, so to speak. So, how did you get an audition? Just stay in line like me. It's ever so much fun. I'm terribly excited about this casting couch idea. Really? Oh, yes, because I love fishing. I think I need a good lie down. Oh, do you want to go on the couch as well? Uh, not if I can possibly avoid it, no. Oh, so would you like my autograph? You what? Well, it's like a name on a bit of paper. My agent Otto thought it up. See, autograph. He says it'll be worth a lot of money one day. Really? Oh yes, especially if you use expensive paper. If you bring me something to write on, I can give one to you. That's very considerate of you. Next! Next! Ah! Uh, come in! So, you want to play a hero, yeah? A hero? Well, this is to be a hero's role. Just Say your lines, and we'll see if we can't get you a screen test. Lines? For all heroes shout something as they attack. He's traditional. Just say whatever comes into your head. Um... Hasta la vista, baby? Nein, 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 nein. Here, try this. But this just says... Arg. Hey, that's what all dragon slayers say. Really? Yeah, just before they fry to a crisp. Come back when you practiced. Now off you go. Right, here you are then. The milkmaid is all set to be your next appointment. Oh, that's marvellous. I'll be seeing you.
You serve as the local tattoo artist, correct? Oh, yes. I'm the best on the disc. All the heroes come to me. <laughs> Blindingly painful mutilations to the discerning gentry. That's me, sir. Here, take a seat and I'll do you now. Now, what style of tattoo are you interested in? And more importantly, what part of your body are we talking about here? <laughs> Those needles, they look pretty pointy. Razor sharp. It's so they can plunge efficiently beneath the flesh, you see. Hmm. Oh, yes. Stabbing into the living tissue, hooking through the skin and spurting ink. Each tattoo needs that to be done thousands of times. Oh, does it hurt? Oh, yes. The pain is quite intense. I've seen grown men turn into whimpering, creeping wrecks by just five minutes under my needles. Anyway, you're a pal, so I'll do one for you right now if you insist. You'll just have to bear with me. I'm too excited to work well. Me hands are shaking. Oh, I really hope I don't stab the needles in too deep and then break them off. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Look, um, I think I'll pass for now. Well, in that case, why don't you try one of those newfangled transfer thingamy tattoos? They're made from a special clutchy and squid dye that adheres to your skin for a day or so. Sounds great. Where can I get one? Try my son. He gives them away with bubblegum. Your son? Yes. The little street starfish. Ah. Ah, oh, thanks for that. I'll be off now. Hello, little friend. Lovely bubblegum you have there. Oh, come on, Governor. What? Well, obviously you're trying to swindle me out of something. Next thing, you'll be trying to trick me into performing some sort of stupid stunt as a diversion. Such as? <laughs> I suppose you were going to get me to blow an incredibly huge bubble and then run off with the goods. Never. I don't think you can blow bubbles much bigger than you have been anyway. Of course I can. Here, watch. Can I hold your bubblegum packet for you? Oh, thanks. This is empty. It comes with a transfer. You don't think I'm going to let you have my transfer? It's collectible. Well, how do you collect a transfer? I mean, you have to put it on your skin. It'll wash off. Wash, Gav? Oh, right. Sorry, I use bad language. Tell me again about the attractions of being a lovable street life stereotype. I'm class background colour, I am, sir. You're about to die. Just give me the damn transfer. Come and get it, pencil head. A nice strong rubber belt, that.
did you get the number of that donkey cart? Sore ass. Did you get the number of sore ass? I'll never touch the stuff again. This is what comes of holding low aspirations. DUI? Donkey under influence? Well, I never. Hmm. Strangely luxuriant hair on this donkey. I don't think I'll ask where it's been. Funny, I never knew mice could knock their knees. Hello again. So, how did we do? Well, he put up quite a fight, but I think I finally got him. A terrible fight? Well, yes, quite ferocious. Ferocious? How? 
How does a half-starved rodent of the order Mus Domesticus manage to almost overpower a full-grown bogeyman? He squeaked at me. Squeaked? Just squeaked? Well, it was the way he squeaked. Puts the wind up you, you know. Mouse bites can infect. I read it somewhere. Some fella's arm rotted clean off. You can't be infected. You're a legendary figure of terror. Still, best not take any chances. Yeah, right. You don't think he's going to come round again, do you? Busy night? No, not particularly. Why? Just wondering. What is there to drink? Well, it's all a matter of suiting the clientele, friend. What do you think the sort of person who frequently frequents this bar would like to have for his drinkies? What'll it be? Hmm. Is this one of those tough, brutal bars? Yeah. Not through actual planning, mind. I mean, it just sort of develops. Then I'll have the usual. Uh, a glass of gin served at room temperature with a human air in it, please. Ah, yeah. I've just checked, and uh, we're all out of gin. Hmm. Whiskey? Um, no. Rice wine? Perno? Absinthe? Scumble? No. Old Bow Bender Stout? I think it's off, sir. Off? How can stout go off? It kills bacteria. You can clean privies with it. Well, it's more sort of uh, settled, sir. All the black colouring sort of swimming round the bottom. Same things happen to the elderberry wine. Well, I say the same thing, but it's more like lumpy. <laughs> it's probably all right, though. Ah, thank you. So, what have you got that hasn't got lamps in it? Oh, tons of stuff. Incidentally, sir, I don't know if you've noticed that rather impromptu pun there. <laughs> rather good, I thought. It could have meant tons, T-U-N-S, type of barrel, or, or tons, T-O-N-S, in its colloquial usage meaning lots. Yeah, 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 very, very good, yeah. So, you got lots then? Uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> So, is there anything here to drink today? Well, yes, sir. It is a bar. I mean, not much use having a bar if there's no actual beer being served here. Today, we have beer actually on tap. That doesn't smell like beer. That smells like Zynemouth's Lacantar Splenetic Emollient. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's very similar to beer, sir. Similar? It's one of the most deadly prescription medicines ever devised by man! How can it possibly be similar? Well, it is a liquid, sir. Well, I'm not touching it. I'll just have a glass of water, please. What? As in, water taken from the River Ank? Whew, you're braver than I thought. Ah. Oh. I see your point. Well, give us a Zynemouth Lacantar Splenetic Emollient, then, please. Ho, ho, and ha! What it is to laugh! Ho, ho! Counterwise wine. Hmm, looks like a good year, even if it is ten years from now. Elderberry wine, best used before 3.30 p.m.
Hello? 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 Oh, yes. That's it, is it? That's the way you greet the greatest hero of our age? The one, the only, the invincible? You what? I'm important, me. I can't just go around answering any old greeting, you know? Well, how would you prefer I greet you, then? Well, shoving a pint in me hand would be nice. I'm Flea Bart the Incredible. Greatest thief in the multiverse. I've survived everything. I fought the Ant God of Quacks and he doesn't even exist. And I survived the Valley of the Scantily Clad Amazingly Well Hairstyled Amazon Women. I've even escaped from the Temple of Ofla, from which no other man has returned in fewer than three pieces. I don't believe a word of this. Huh! Huh! You dare to doubt the greatest hero of our age? I'm known all up and down the river, I am. The river? Yeah. The river Ank? Isn't that a little dangerous? You have to watch out for all the goiters and the yours. Yours? What's yours? Mine's another pint, thanks. Then there was the time I blah, boast blah, blah. Barkeep, a drink. Egad, look! A picture of the Gold Cup winning rooster at the Clatchian Animal Crooning Competition. May I draw your attention to the picture of the award winning pig from the Ankmore Pork Pork Butcher's Guild Ball? Yes, that certainly is something. But what about that picture of the Special Merit Medallion winning cockatrice from the Wildlife Preservation Society's award ceremony for recently extinct species? None, however, can quite to my mind match the magnificence of that blue ribbon winning sheep from the uh, Followers of Offler Sacrificial Lamb competition. Yeah, that was the one. Right, drink up. Ha! Got you at last. Got me? How? But, but, there's nothing I can tell you. It's, it's all lies. I, I'm a weasel. Nothing but a weasel. A snivelling, no good, lying little we... Yeah, now look. So, just long and brown and lying with words and stuff. Now look you, tell me about the Temple of Ofla. It's in the jungle, over a gorge. Any map will show you.
<sighs> Excuse me, sir. Yes? What is it? We haven't got all day. We dwarf and swordsmiths lead a busy life. Hmm. Well, would you tune up this sword for me? We meet once again, Wormling. Oh, no! Yes, tis I. Prepare to meet thy doom. Stop! What's huge and purple and has a hundred eyes? My mother, with perhaps ninety-seven extra eyes. Ninety-seven? Yeah, good old mum. Oh, huh. well, that sort of takes the effect out of that one. Now, have at you! Oh, look! Little dots! Little dots with scales and big long tails! Devious. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Temple Restoration Fund. Leave valuables here before entering. I don't like the sound of this. Diabolical. I'd rather not see what happens.
Ah, what's this? Magic chance for dragon slaying heroes. I'll just sneak a look. Good grief! I've been read by a book. Sturcus! Sturcus Mortuous! No, I won't say it. I won't, at least not until I need to. What are you lot doing here? Us? Nothing. Yes, you are. You're all here waiting for something. Programs, get your souvenir programs. Only one penny each and I'm cutting my own throat. What's that lady doing lashed to that rock? Um, reserved seating. I thought you said nothing was going on. Well, it isn't, but if anything does happen, then she's got a front row seat. Help! She said help! No, she didn't. She said whelp. She's calling for puppies. Give me one of those damn programmes. Opening act. Grand Fanfare and Dancing Girls. The amazing Bendable Sisters will perform amusing novelty acts. Hmm, should be worth seeing. Followed by... Lady Ramkin will be offered as a sacrifice to appease the mighty dragon. Main attraction hero roast... Sausage sizzle to follow, if wet, in the town hall. Help! Don't worry. We're pretty certain a hero's going to turn up. Where? When? Are you sure? Oh, there's no stopping the buggers. That's what we're here for. And if it doesn't work out, there's always the sausages. Well, now that dragon can meet its doom at last. Little did it expect that it would meet up with a true hero. Who? A hero? Who? Me! So you found all the bits you need then? Yes, now I finally have the power. I'm a hero at last! <laughs> I still say it's going to be a million to one against you killing it. Never! What can a dragon possibly have to match my wits, my cunning, my majestic pointy hat? Why, the creature's nothing but a lizard with big ideas. Just a scaly, bloated, cowardly... Ahem. It was him. I said I'd leave you until last. Go for it, lad. Hit it in the vulnerables. 
Shush! Look, Mr. Dragon, why don't we just come to some sort of agreement? I mean, I am a hero. Heroes win, well known fact. On the other hand, in a sensible universe, the actual chances of my harming you are about... A million to one? Yes, that's it. So, in the interests of promoting mutually beneficial relations, Why don't you push off and bother another city? Thank you very much. No hard feelings. Case dismissed. You feel this is the best course of action for the overall promotion of positive experience, which is to say, enjoyment and well-being? Exactly! Because if the day ends with one of us dead, then the negative experience of the loser will cancel out the positive experience of the victor? Yes, yes, that's it exactly! Hmm... Yes? I think I'm going to eat you anyway. Why? Was it something I said? No, it's just that I hate philosophers. Sorry. Well, in that case, take this! Stercus Mortuus Sum. Stercus Mortuus Sum. Stercus Mortuus Sum! <laughs> me by that much hey no how did he survive that well that was one chance in a million Right, that's it! I've had enough of you. What happened to the philosophy? I'll give you something to think about. I'll be here. And I'll be back. Hmm, that wasn't a bad line. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Redmond Herring. Props, blinds and double blinds. Eh? What? So you're the one that's been behind all this stuff. <laughs> that's me, sir. Uh, Redmond Herring, supplier of plot modifiers and moderators to the gentry, sir. Plot modifiers and moderators? You mean false clues, tedious in-jokes, that kind of thing? <laughs> that's the stuff, sir. 
And we look upon our service as proving all those things which make up the true essence of a story. What, you mean complicating the plot so that the poor, stupid protagonist wastes half his time on false leads? Uh, yes. Uh, the technical term, I believe, is uh, padding. I mean, can you imagine what your day would have been like without us, sir? Funnily enough, I believe I can. Excellent. Well, good to have met you. By the way, um, you've dropped this. Oh, uh, uh, this isn't mine, sir. This is just a piece of paper that says monkey. We'll just call that one on the couch, shall we?
Not you again. Can't you leave a monster in peace to eat? Aha! Hasta la mister! Eat hot smoking death, reptilian trash! Is that a swamp dragon in your hands, or are you just pleased to see me? This is an M16, the world's most powerful swamp dragon. It can blow your head clean off. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? That doesn't... So that's why it doesn't have any vulnerables. It's a girl. A female? On heat, too. They always get stroppier when they're feeling a little, you know, overheated. Good grief! By Mothra's hand warmers. Oh, this clicky is going to make me a fortune. It's hardly suitable for public viewing. Well, you go up there and tell them. Anyway, it has artistic integrity. Interesting seductive technique. Lots of energy, anyway. Pub, anyone? Why not? Sorry. Uh, the horse threw a shoe. I had to see about a shipwreck. Uh, my side went blunt. Oh, there was a terrible earthquake. Uh, the map got lost. Uh, my robe didn't come back from the cleavage. There was a sudden plague. It's not my fault. Oh, bugger.